So, alright, how you doing? Um, my name's Cameron. I'm alongside with Miles and Leah. We are um, Apple Inc. group. And we are discussing the Coca-Cola problem that we have discovered here lately. Um, but uh, what I'm really just kind of coming along just to tell you a little, about, a little bit about Coca-Cola. What it is. Coca-Cola was invented in 1886 by uh, Dr. John Pemberton. Pemberton wanted to have a, create a distinctive taste in uh, some type of soda that he could sell in a soda fountain. So therefore, he came up with Coca-Cola. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Coca-Cola's been around for about almost 130 years. That's crazy. Uh, it's a crazy fact, but it's sold all over the world, um, creating billions of dollars. And then um, around the time in 1894, they started to bottle the Coca-Cola system. And the bottles they, they created from glass bottles, plastic, um, all the way up to the plastic bottle that they have now. Uh, that is actually not one of the uh, better ends of the Coca-Cola pro production, I guess you could say. But uh, Coca-Cola has definitely gone through many bottle types and uh, I'm just trying to find out the, the best eco-friendly bottle type that I could actually give for Coca-Cola. Hi, I'm Miles Haynes and I'm going to be talking about what my team believes is an important problem facing Coca-Cola bottling company Consolidated as well as identifying the causes of the aforementioned problem. The problem that my colleagues, Cameron, Leah, and myself have identified and are going to focus on in this video is a problem of over-diversification and over-extension. We believe that since Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated operates many different types of businesses, such as mixing, packaging, and distributing beverages, that the company should look to streamline some of their operations. One area in which we believe this streamlining could be accomplished is in packaging. We think that bottling in glass, plastic, and aluminum is using a tremendous amount of resources, all while providing very limited benefits to the company. And this doesn't even get into all the different form factors that each material is made available in. While it is clear that Coca-Cola manages to excel in packaging its product into all three different materials, we do not believe that continuing to do so is truly the way forward for this company, as it, the three different processes share very few core competencies. Therefore, we propose that these processes should be streamlined into one general process. We believe that making changes in this area may allow the company to achieve competitive advantage in the beverage bottling market. Next, we will discuss the factors and issues that have led to this problem of over-diversification and over-extension. Franchise bottling of Coca-Cola products began in 1899, and in the 120 years since, the business has expanded rapidly and also changed a great deal. In 1923, six-pack carriers of Coca-Cola bottles were introduced to encourage people to take their drinks home, and they were a huge hit. During the 1950s, Coca-Cola began to offer their products in a packages of various sizes for the first time. Later, in the 1960s, they expanded their packaging options even further, beginning to offer their products in aluminum cans as well as their traditional glass bottles. In 1978, Coca-Cola introduced the world to the 2-liter plastic bottle. It became popular for a lot of reasons. It doesn't break, it's resealable, lightweight, and most importantly, recyclable. As you can see, the rapid expansion of the beverage bottling industry led to an overabundance of packaging options, many of which are redundant in this day and age. With this litany of packaging options come strategic inefficiencies. For example, production lines must be reconfigured to switch between packaging types and sizes, and these changeover operations take time. This downtime required to change over production methods equates to less product leaving the line, and as a result, 
less profit. If these changeovers could be eliminated, or at the very least, reduced, then Coca-Cola Bottling Company could become much more efficient, produce more revenue, and thus be well on their way to achieving competitive advantage. So when finding a solution to the problem of the diversified packaging system that the, I guess you wouldn't say system, but the, the packaging preferences that the Coca-Cola has provided with um, the company, that the, they are going from glass to aluminum to, to foil to plastic, uh, all this stuff back and forth, back and forth. None of it um, environmentally friendly none is eco worthy so what we are trying to do is just to find that solution that we're going to get for the, for the company um, I, i've come up with a, a company that has just put their brand on the market it's called cove water bottle they actually do water bottle boats i mean you can still do the coke but the bottle system that they have come up with is the biodegradable and they were bought they just came into play in february um, 2019 they're targeted to expand in new markets throughout the year so therefore I have to believe that coca-cola can jump on to the cove brand and develop from their bottles and use the biodegradable water bottles that they have uh, they're they're able to be thrown out it says it's biodegradable and it'll break down in water maybe if it's thrown in the ocean the lake the soil it's, it's, it's everything. So it's something that I believe Coca-Cola should definitely dive into. Um, it'll definitely be more eco-friendly. The cost will be cheaper. And it'll be easier process for, for Coca-Cola fans to love the eco-friendly that they're seeing in the Coca-Cola brand, which will help benefit them in the long run. I'm Leah, and I'm going to discuss the recommendations that we have for Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated and what they should do with the previous information that we have already discussed from my coworkers or colleagues, um, Cameron and Miles. Um, so we recommend that Coca-Cola um, narrows down what packages they use for their products. Um, this includes narrowing down the amount of styles and um, this includes getting rid of different types of bottles and cans um, so that they can use the recycled material that Cameron had mentioned. Um, when they do this, it can also allow for them to become more innovative in their design process, creating a whole new look for Coca-Cola um, for them to really stand out from their competitors. Um, it helps them stand out if they only have one or two designs um, so that they can um, really, people know what they're looking for. Yes, the Coca-Cola bottles are already pretty well known, but there are other bottles that look similar so if they were to design um, one way or one or two ways that look smaller with these recycled materials it may help their business become more de designed differently more diversified um, another recommendation that we suggest for the company is they should do um, a more universal way in um, creating their products or um, like the production process it gets um, it reduces price it reduces um, products labor um, the issues with that um, if they were to go directly into using only the recycled material uh, that Cameron mentioned it would have less waste less resources used um, and it would help the environment tremendously um, in this day and age companies like coca-cola bottling company are always looking to find ways to lower their cost and have a universal way of creating their packages um, and products so it's a huge factor for them to be able to save money and gain a higher profit margin for the coca-cola foundation um, it'll also help them set apart from other companies to gain more respect for the eco-friendly consumers um, and those also looking for something completely different um, so to conclude um, throughout this video, Miles, Cameron, and myself, um, we've looked at a problem that Coca-Cola Bottling Company um, has and ways to resolve it. Um, they've tried to over-diversify the way that they package their products. Um, if they were to lower how 
uh, many ways the resources they use. It could help environments and help them achieve a competitive advantage and um, that, they, that they're looking for. Um, so Coca-Cola is using a large amount of resources that are not the most eco-friendly, such as um, the aluminum, the plastic, even though plastic can be recycled, um, it takes a while to break down. Um, they do their job well, uh, but streamlining this process into one general process can help make more money and become more competitive. Coca-Cola has always been a proud of their bottles, that they don't break and that they're resealable, but they can do this um, with our recommendations um, and still be completely successful in ways while um, they keep the environment um, friendly and they can speed up the process of packaging and having less designs and materials used. Um, Coca-Cola should really try to consider lowering their amount of package materials um, to further their business and that's what we suggest they do.